Hi, it's Sarah from LetThemBeSmall.com. Um, so a week or two ago, I put a shout out on my Facebook page to ask if there was any interest in me sharing um, the home ed resources that we were using with our children. Um, there seemed to be a bit of interest, so I thought I would start with sharing um, all about the maths uh, curriculum that we're choosing to follow at the moment. Um, so for those of you that follow my blog, you will know that my eldest, Daniel, was due to start in reception um, this month, September 2017. Um, and we decided that we we're going to follow a home ed path because that's what feels right for us. Um, we are probably considered to be quite structured, I think. So I know a lot of my friends would be horrified at the um, number of activities that we participate in, um, the fact that I bought a curriculum full stop. Um, but this is what works for us. Um, Daniel is a child that likes um, routine and order. He likes to work um, towards a goal. He likes worksheets and workbooks. Uh, so this is something that works for us. So um, we've decided to follow the Singapore maths curriculum. So a few weeks ago, I purchased the first uh, two sets of books um, for the maths no problem programme. So this is the Singapore maths, which is the approach that's raved about by all sorts of people. And this follows the current English national curriculum. Um, so each year is split into four books. So these are the first two books, textbook and workbook. Okay. So the textbook is a really colourful one. The workbook is the more black and white one. And just on the shelf behind me here with the orange spines are textbooks 1B and workbook 1B. Um, each year is split into two halves, so the four books in total should cover one year of maths. Um, so we'll see whether that actually rings true for us. In terms of um, the curriculum that we've bought, we opted to do this because we're quite keen for the kids to have quite a good grounding in maths. Um, and in the event that they enter into the school system, we will be quite keen for them to be um, sort of not not to be disadvantaged in terms of understanding the language that is used so the maths no problem singapore maths is recommended by i think the department of education and various other maths type experts what i really like about this scheme is that it's literally all in this book and the accompanying workbook you can order direct from the maths no problem website uh, i think the books are maybe nine or ten pound each but there is a quite a hefty um postage charge and um, what we did, um, I knew one of my friends was wanting to order those orange books behind me um, and some other people had expressed an interest as well. So we just did an order all under one name and it actually tipped us into free postage. So if the postage cost does put you off a bit like it was doing for me, uh, maybe ask around your local networks and your groups and see if people want to go in with you um, and then you might qualify for free postage or at least can split the postage across a couple of people to reduce the cost. So what's in these books and why do I think they're so great okay so the books are essentially split into chapters and uh, so I think in this first one there I think it's 10 chapters or oh, nine chapters there are sorry so just to give you an idea like chapter let's say chapter uh, five is about positions so naming positions naming positions and cues moving left and right chapter six comes numbers to 20 and seven um, addition and subtraction within 20 and then what, it, what each lesson within those breaks down into. Um, we're nearly at the end of chapter one. Um, whilst we are quite formal, it isn't a case of me saying, right kids, it's Tuesday, 10 a.m. and we do maths. Um, the books are all here with various other things. Uh, the children can access them as and when they want. So when they bring them to me, yes, we'll do a maths lesson. Um, and I might ask them, do you want to do some maths? And um, if the answer is no, then we don't do it. Um, we probably haven't done any of this now for maybe a week, weeks, 10 days, um, but I'm sure we'll pick it up at some point this week or next week. So if I just show you very quickly lesson one. So lesson one is this two page spread, which is all about counting to 10. So I'm guessing that most children entering reception will be able to do this. So this was quite an easy first set of lessons for us to work through. So as you can see, um, it says, they ask the children at the top there to um, work out what the missing number is. So they put the numbers in order and then work out the missing one. They then count on from various numbers. So one, two, three, four, and then we prompt your child to say the next set of numbers and so on and so forth. And then a bit further down, you start counting backwards. Um, 
What I like is at the end of the lesson, it says now complete worksheet one, page one to four. So you do your two pages in this and then you go to workbook and find pages one to four. So pages one to four, um, I've actually taken them out of the workbook. What you can just see here is, you see the perforations? So the pages tear out of the workbook. Um, they're all in black and white, just, I think it's slightly smaller than A4 size, possibly, or maybe slightly thinner because it's been ripped out. Um, I actually copy these because I've got um, both Daniel and Emma. Um, so whilst Emma is a little younger than Daniel, she is and keen to get involved. So by giving her a worksheet, she can practice her, her number skills and writing those things, or she'll tell me the answer and I'll write it in for her. So this is the worksheet here for that first lesson. So you write the number, uh, so one, two, then three, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then same on the back. I like that these are quite short and simple because personally for Daniel, who does enjoy a good worksheet, which I know that's um, a very strange thing for an almost five-year-old to like, but he likes a worksheet, um, is that they're quite easy to work through and they're not too demanding in terms of writing. Um, and Daniel's really motivated to do these at the moment. But if your child is maybe uh, struggling with the writing, um, like Emma does, because she's only um, three and a half-ish, then I'll get her to tell me the answer and I'll handwrite it in. Or you could get um, some number stickers and get them to stick the numbers in. Um, so yeah, so that's essentially just a very quick worksheet. Um, obviously, as the book goes on, um, it gets more complex. So here's um, a worksheet I've just picked out. So let's look what this is. So this is chapter five. So this is positions. So the worksheet here asks the children to pick the third zebra, the seventh bird, the second cow six fish and all those sorts of things um i like i really do like this i like the fact that it's all there in one place you pick it up and it's there ready to go and the only sort of relative organization that's needed from me is making sure that i have copies of the sheets but if you're not copying the sheets and that's fine you just rip it out of the workbook or just go to the next page in the workbook and also just having a few um manipulative type things for the children to work with so we really like these um, snap cubes, you've probably seen these, they pull apart and you can make all sorts of 3D objects, number bonds, all those sorts of things. Um, I was just stored in a, I think it's like an Ikea vase thing that I picked up um, and they're usually up on this shelf here. I also have um, a tub here and these have got these wooden number things. These were, I don't know, maybe a pound or two from um, Amazon. And they've got various symbols in as well. Children like these for drawing out their math sums. And we use them alongside some craft sticks. So they can uh, replicate the sum using the sticks. So you would get, so two becomes two. And so on and so forth. Um, and that works really well for us. So that in essence is our maths curriculum so far. Um, the, my children are still very, very young. We're still very much at the beginning of our home ed journey experience whatever you want to call it um, but this is something that is working quite well for us and i think will um following this sort of approach will help to identify any gaps in the children's knowledge and give me ideas of things to work on just one other thing i did want to mention was if you're in an area that is particularly well organized in terms of groups and has access to um venues and all those sorts of things then what I like about um, the textbooks is that it gives you ideas for games. So this here talks about working in groups. So this is a game that I play with Daniel and Emma. Um, and I just literally had a few counters, a Tupperware box. I drew out the 10 frames. I don't have a 10 frame, so that's my 10 frame there drawn out and some square paper. Um, and used our snap cubes. And we played quite a long while, um, shaking the box, guessing how many counters are in there, and then using the wooden numbers, the snap cubes, the 10 frame, putting out, so we thought it was four, so Daniel would put out four snap cubes on the 10 frame, and we would find the wooden number four, and we would do it that way. Um, and that worked really, really well. And I can certainly see that particularly as you get further on, um, I'm just trying to find a, another activity, so like this one here. It's talked about working in pairs. 
So show your partner some cubes, use fewer than 10. Tell your partner, your partner sorry, tells your number that is one more than the one you show. And you tell your partner a number that is one less than the one you show. So yes, you can do these sorts of things at home, but I do think there is a value to doing these sorts of things in groups as well. So I think um, this might be something that as we get further and further into it, we may look to set up maybe, I don't know, a very informal group in my front room or um, look for a venue if people want to come together and follow this sort of curriculum. Um, but it's certainly the sort of thing that would really lend itself well to a group of parents getting together and setting up their own home ed mass no problem group. Um, so yeah, so I hope that was useful for having a quick look inside the mass no problem books. So each uh, year is four books. So these are the first half of the year, textbook 1A and 1B. Um, and workbook, sorry. So the textbook is the um, nice colourful one and the workbook is the more black and white one. And yeah, it's something that seems to be working for us now. Um, I'm sure I will post an update at some point of how it's getting on. So yeah, I hope um, that was useful for people who are thinking about what maths might look like in their home ed environment. Um, and if you want me to share any other resources, ideas, curriculums, etc., that we're following, then do shout up uh, and I'll happily vlog what we're doing. Thanks for watching.